work, I mostly deal with um, planning and control in robots. So traditionally, uh, the way one would control a robot like this, a humanoid robot, for example, um, is by actually taking individual joints of the robot and programming it in a, in a way that it can achieve what you want it to do. For example, if it wants to um, walk, then you would um, record some appropriate movements and do some planning and then put that movement on the individual joints of the robot. My name is uh, Sethu Vijayakumar. Um, I'm a professor of robotics at the University of Edinburgh um, within the School of Informatics uh, and I'm also the director of the Institute for Perception, Action and Behaviour. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about an exciting new project that's been sponsored by the EPSRC and this is called Topology Based Motion Synthesis. creates a new paradigm uh, shift in planning and representation. Um, we are going away from the concepts of representing movements as joint angles and in 3D task space to completely different coordinate system and that coordinate system being things which are useful uh, in terms of syntactically planning and representing movements. For example, instead of saying you have an object at position X, Y, and Z, you would say the object is above something or below something or uh, is wrapped around a particular uh, other object. Um, and this would be very hard to specify um, using traditional coordinate systems. The key inspiration is the fact that um, we are now being able to build robots um, that are a lot more flexible, a lot more um, versatile, uh, and we've got um, new developments in material sciences, we've got new development in sensors that make, for example, individual joints a lot more compact. So what it boils down to is you can get uh, very, very complicated robotic structures in it. You can have um, sort of octopus-like um, fingers or, or limbs, you can have um, flexible actuators, you can have variable impedance um, actuators. Um, and this is great news for the flexibility of robotic systems. Uh, unfortunately, what brings with it is more complexity at the level of planning and representation, which uh, traditional methods of planning cannot deal with at the moment. The robotic um, football playing uh, humanoids of today, for example, um, actually need a significant amount of time to sense, plan and react um, and it doesn't look anywhere close to what humans are able to do. Um, so we're hoping that this new paradigm will enable us to speed these sort of reactive behaviors um, up multifold so that um, we can get um, things that are a lot more useful. is taking concepts from uh, maths and set theory and graph theory um, and it is uh, looking at novel applications of these concepts uh, from formal methods to application domains. Um, so animation is one application, robotics uh, or full bodied motion synthesis is another application um, and, and certainly uh, you can go even further and say things like uh, bioinformatics where you have uh, complex structures um, which are either you can visualize them or it's in an abstract space. So even manipulation and planning um, in bio, bio uh, artificial biology so to say uh, can be thought of in this, in this whole framework of topology. These paradigms of working in topology space give you the tools to work um, in such complicated um, environments.